All right, and 365 days of horsemanship, day 97. So today was definitely a day that I felt that I was really into this day by day, brick by brick, step by step, consistency approach. And I think it's just really important to stay in the present and feel really grateful for that because ultimately it's very easy to live in the past or in the future and be like, well, I didn't do this last week or if I'd have only done this, then I could be here. It's very easy to live in the future and say, well, you know, like I have all of these days ahead of me where I have to do the same thing and isn't that so boring? Um, whereas actually if I'm living in the present and I'm just saying, what is it that I'm doing today? and how am I going to enjoy that, then that's a much more powerful mindset to have. And so I definitely came today with that feeling in mind. Um, I think I was, even though I was quite tired, I was still happy to be coming um, host Mia again today. And again, it was really nice to have that job to do. Um, I came to her to hold to her and I had the same kind of issue that I'd had prior um, or historically where I would, um, she just would like ignore me or ignore the concept basically. And so I, I tried a little bit with, I put the halter around her neck and she didn't lift her head. Then I tried a little bit of pressure. Um, well, initially actually I tried itching. I itched her, um, around her teats and she was really itchy there. And so that was really good and it was a good way to connect. But then when I came with the halter, she immediately then put her head back down again. What I was hoping was that I would itch and then the next thing we could do would put the halter on and then I could go back to the itching. But it didn't quite work out. So I tried the itching for a little bit. Then I tried just putting the halter around her neck and that didn't work. And so then I just put a little bit of pressure um, on her hindquarters with the halter, just like in a rhythmic, um, like a sort of swinging motion. And so she started to move away and so I walked with her um and as we came to the fence she started to look out across the field and so I took that opportunity to halter her and it wasn't you know it wasn't the most amazing haltering ever and definitely we still have a long way to go um and I wanted her to be more connected but I did feel that compared to where we started um it was still good and so I took that today um, also as well, because, you know, I've done another 12 hour shift today and I'm, I'm willing to make some compromises today. So I got the halter on and we walked up together to the yard and that was nice. Um, and then actually immediately that I put the water on, the hose on, she was a lot more comfortable with the water being around. And so that was really nice. Um, and I was able to hose her for a while um, and she was just kind of eating and then she looked up and around at me. So I gave her a little break just for, a, you know, a couple of breaths and she went back to the grass. And so then I hosed again and I think I actually missed the best moment. There was like a sigh, um, like she just like did a deep breath out while I was hosing her. And that I think would have been the ideal moment for me to stop. But I only realized after she'd done the breath and then there was sort of she was just great grazing again. And I really felt that I wanted to find a good moment to leave it on rather than just kind of being late and leaving it on just any old moment. So in order to kind of facilitate a better feeling, I started itching her again. I started scratching her again. Um, and so I gave her a little scratch again on her like teats and she, um, she started to enjoy that um, and kind of was like, you know, doing the itching face. Um, and so I just basically scratched her while the hose was on, um, until she like really relaxed. Um, and at that point when she like put her head back down, just as she was going back to graze, I took the, um, hose away and packed it all up and came back and unhalted her, took the halter off and she felt good. She felt soft. She felt happy. It felt really soft. It felt like she wasn't immediately trying to get away. Um, but because, you know, she wasn't particularly interactive, I didn't made sure I didn't stay too long. I just took the halter off, um, and left, but I was happy with it. I think definitely, you know, from where we were yesterday, where we were, you know, walking in circles, trying to get away from the water, definitely today was better. And I was happy with that. So I went to see Lawrence. I took the halter up with me. Um, and it, yeah, and actually I played a really nice little pattern today of, um, engage with the halter, then something nice happens, then engage with the halter and then something nice happens. And it seemed to just go really well. Um, 
yeah like we did some massaging some scratching and it was like we would scratch in a certain place until it felt like the best it could possibly be so like until he licked and chewed or until he sighed or until he blew out or until he changed focus and then and then the next thing I did was I like took a walk to get myself in a good position little walk you know in a circle or whatever um and offered the halter and then he would touch the halter with his nose and be curious and I would stay there with that until I felt that it was the best it could possibly be and then I went back to something else um that he wanted to do and he would he's very he, you know he'll tell me then the next thing to do then he's like oh I want you to massage here or I want you to scratch there or whatever and so we just played around that you know just for like five or ten minutes just stroking around and scratching around and massaging around and I spent quite a long time massaging his neck today which is really nice because I had done some of that previously some of you who've been following me for a few weeks now we'll know that we went through a period where we were doing a lot of work on his neck he has some soft tissue damage um on his neck that I've been trying to work through with massaging and I was daily massaging that for a while and then he just started to to just indicate that it was it was enough or that he didn't want any more massage there um and so now it feels like we've come back around which is really nice um, and it definitely just gives me the confidence to continue to trust him and to follow his lead because I think he definitely tells me and shows me where he wants or needs the massage and I think you know it's very easy to be like well you know maybe he's not making the right decision or maybe you know the places he doesn't want you to massage are the places you should be but actually I don't know that so in this situation where I don't know the answer then why not follow his lead and see where that takes us why not follow him and find out what happens if I just go where he tells me to go let's see where we are in six months let's see where we are in a year let's see how that works um so that's really good and I feel really happy with that experiment with that with that path with the massaging we had a really nice moment um where I came back around to his left hand side and I offered him the halter and I could see there was like almost a moment of like of of suspicion I would say like less concern and just more like a bit suspicious and then he moved past it into curiosity had a real good sniff and a sigh and a lick and a chew and that was really nice um and so then after that I did a little bit more scratching um and then I left and it was really good it, it felt like I just felt like it was just a nice easy comfortable day where I was just laying another brick and in the relationship and the foundation and feeling happy about it um, definitely I think it's nice in a lot of ways to have such a crazy work life because I think on the days when I am working a 12-hour shift or some other you know crazy time of day it, it sort of takes the pressure off me where I feel like it's okay to have those like short peaceful days and actually I think that's what I need I think I put too much pressure on myself to constantly be having the most amazing session of my life and actually that's not how things work you know consistency is what creates those amazing days and um yeah so so it was good it was a really good day I feel really positive about it um tomorrow I might have a little bit more time we'll see um if I do then you know I'll be excited to kind of see what I do with that I think um yeah I think I was thinking a little bit today about when Elsa came I rode on her clinic in I think May time and I um and she told me that the next thing I need to work on is the yields and I definitely it's interesting because I feel like what happened at Elsa's clinic was like a golden window into where we could be and at, at the point at which we would be ready to start playing with yields and basically I think we're now on the journey of working towards that place you know like today I came into the field with a halter and he looked up and he walked to me from about 20 20 feet away 30 feet away that's huge from where we were that's huge from where we were and I think you know I have this idea of the yields in the back of my mind but also it's really important to accept that where I am now is that he's really resistant to this idea of haltering and it's the same energy it's that same ignoring energy that I feel from him when I'm asking for the yields and I think that playing this game with the haltering and with the massaging is a really good setup for us to then make the next question about yields like once I feel that the haltering is is in a really good place then I think that's the time when you know where I can come in 
and he knows that the session is going to be a mixture of what I want to do and what he wants to do and I think when I can come in and have that have that be the expectation and have him still coming to me that's the time when he's ready to start with the yields um and so I'm excited to get there I'm also happy with where I am and it's nice to feel like I have that that game plan in mind um yeah with Mia I don't know we'll see where it goes we'll see where it goes